Hi, my name is John. I'm starting a company called FYLSX. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. I am making four valve per cylinder LS cylinder heads. These are completely billet. Uh, I only have seven of them. That's what comes out of a 12 foot stick. And I am developing a cradle system for trunnion to make them. So, never mind the LAT crank here. These risers here are going to do a large version of this. This is what I've done billet heads with in the past. It allows me to position in five axis or three plus two really. And um, it's very slow and tedious. The advantage I'll have with this table, I'm using pretty cheap encoders, but they're accurate to a hundredth of a degree over a 10 inch run. That gives me about a thousandth and seven tenths of precision. And that'll have to be good enough for these things. Um, they flow about 380 on the intake, 250 on the exhaust. They fit the 5348 bore. They can be blown out to be bigger. Um, and those flow numbers are just off of a very, very rough 3D print. So flow numbers will probably increase. These are not a double overhead cam. These are a push rod activated kind of shaft rocker type system. Uh, those deep cuts are the exhaust rocker arms, the intake, there's an intake plate that bolts onto here and uh, will graft my manifold. And the intake push rods go up and split in between each of the intake runners. These are fully water jacketed. I'm holding the plastic one, even though it doesn't count and it's not real because it's a lot lighter and far less expensive for what I have into these things. I have the first four operations done and there's about 40 hours of machine time into each of the, of the cylinder heads that I have. About a 12 foot stick and I can get seven out of them. Kind of unfortunate for V8s where you need two per. But I guess I'll have a nice showpiece. Them being fully water jacketed, I mean they are fully water jacketed. You can, I hope, clearly see with my wonderful shop lighting that there's these deep wells in between each cylinder under the exhaust port at the ends of the head. They are angle drilled through in all kinds of different ways, hence the turn in table, to uh, be basically a bolt on head that's fully billet, a lot of CFM, and uh, have to use only a uh, custom set of head studs and they should come fully assembled hopefully with rocker arms, valves, springs. They're based on a small block Chevy inch and a quarter spring. It's very very tight packaging. You'll see as this progresses that the exhaust rocker arm um, is a pretty funky shape. I've had some friends run some uh, finite element uh, analysis on it and it uh, looks like it's gonna be all right. And uh, probably run a good set of lifters with these. I can go over a whole bunch of different stuff. I plan to do a series of videos. I've been putting off making a video and promoting this um, out of the pursuits of perfection. So I'm doing it at midnight in my shop uh, on a cell phone without the gimbal. Because I don't think it matters this, this old deal, I don't plan to do the whole YouTube thing. I just plan to show that this is genuinely made here. I guess I should have probably deferred them too. They're kind of sharp. But they're completely made here in-house by me. And I hope to scale that some way somehow and I might have some cool ways about doing that but um guys got any questions leave it in the comments below subscribe 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 whatever subscribe if you want I'm not going to be posting super regular better to follow me at, on Instagram at FYLS X FYLS X um, for
for your LS. So, these hope to be get these hope to be getting a heck of a lot more parts, and uh, I hope to bring some uh, cooler machining than what I'm doing in my shop here. I'm still working those details out, but I plan to at least make one in here on my old three-axis Japanese mills. Again, my name is John. Thanks for checking it out. Hit me up and at Instagram or in the comments if you got any questions about these. Y'all have a good one.